the all new Scrape Box Updater. What it means for you, how it can help you, and what you can do with it. That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Before we jump in, we are of course talking about Scrapebox. If you don't have Scrapebox, you can go to scrapebox.com, roll down to the bottom and pick it up here before the deal ends. And then you wanna head over to scrapeboxtips.com and sign up and I'm gonna get you set up with full tutorials, guides, checklists, even teach you how to make money using Scrapebox. All of it's for free. And once you've done that, let's jump in here. So if you have Scrapebox, you're probably used to, you know, the standard Scrapebox interface. And over the years, which has been more than a decade, typically when you check for updates, there's gonna be a button over here, you click check for updates, and it would typically show you the version number. If it was red or black, then you didn't have the latest version, green was the latest version. That is all now changed and provided us with a lot of new options and flexibility also for troubleshooting as well as to try beta versions before they're officially released. So what does that mean? Now, when you click check for updates, this button here, you can do it whenever. Click check for updates. It's gonna tell you that it's gonna run an update tool. You do need at least version 2.1.0.37 for this to work. So if you have an older version than dot 37, you're going to have to click the update button and go through that update process, possibly first once, and then come back and click the update button, the check for updates button again. So the, the update process, depending on your version of Scrapebox, it may vary, but you may need to go through the update process twice, worst case. Once you get to at least dot 37 and you click update, you'll see something like this. It's gonna say this tool is gonna to run and it's gonna shut down Scrapebox. That's pretty normal for Scrapebox to shut it down, but now we get a special tool for updating with choices. So a lot of stuff up here, you can read that. That's great, but we can see some different versions here. So one benefit of this is we can see the versions. We have beta versions available, all the different ones. We have standard versions available. So anything that doesn't say beta, it says release version. That's like a stable release version, right? So then we have beta versions, which when you click on one of those, you can kind of get the cutting edge. Like I've never had a beta version not work, but it's beta, so it could have a bug, right? But you get new features earlier. So rather than having to wait from, you know, so see there was five beta versions on dot 38 so far, rather than having to wait from dot 37 to go to full dot 38 to get all these features or fixes or whatever, I can do it now. If we click on the little changes icon, we can see what it was. Here on dot 38, they fixed the Google Harvester engine. This was really important because in the past couple of days, Google changed some stuff and in their HTML and their code, and that caused Scrapebox to break, right? It didn't cause Scrapebox to break, it just the harvester could no longer read the code, right? because Google made changes to it. So now Scrapebox came along very promptly and fixed it. So now if you update to at least beta five, then that will fix the Google Harvester engine. So it's super useful, obviously, that I want to be able to get to fixing Google. Now, if you're not using Google to harvest, then it's kind of mute point. But always, if something doesn't work, the very first thing you want to do in Scrapebox, if it doesn't work, is to click the check for updates button. And that would hold true for if you are using an add on or a plugin. So if you have and let me just detour there for a second, I'll go back to the thing. And then we'll wrap it up here. So this is important, though, because I actually have had a lot of people ask me this over the years, you know, they'll be like an add ons not working or a plugins not working well, show available add ons and check for updates. So if my domain resolver is not working, it's because I'm using dot eight and dot nine is available, and they fix something, right? So the first thing you want to do is update. If you are on Windows, then every single add on has its own, it's like its own standalone program, and it needs its own updates. The same holds true for plugins. When you do plugins, every single one needs an update. If you are on Mac, at least at the time of this video, the add-ons and the plugins are tied to the core version of Scrapebox. So when you update that, it updates those for you. But for all the Windows users, then which is a majority of the Scrapebox users, let's go back to the, the update tool and talk about a couple more things here and we're good to go. So I can see again, different things. So here was a fix for the custom data grabber. So you may or may not want to update to a version, but again, if something's broken in Scrapebox, click check for updates. 
And then um, if there are beta versions, you can just quickly go through the changes and see, oh, that was a harvester, that was a meta export, and see if there's a fix for whatever issue you're having. And if there is, then go ahead and update. So we just click update. I'm already using beta five, so I can't update anything there. But let's say that you update and you go to one of the beta versions, right? So I go to beta five, which is what I'm running. And let's say there is a bug, right? Something breaks and it doesn't work, um, which has, you know, which could happen, right? Theoretically, it is a beta version and they do obviously test it and compile it and that sort of stuff, but you have different setups and it can just be possible, right? Because Scrapebox has been installed on millions of machines and you can't always 100% anticipate in every situation how code is going to execute across millions of machines potentially. So somebody might have an issue. And if that's you and you update to a beta version or any version, even if it's a, a release version and it's just like not working or Scrapebox won't load all of a sudden or whatever, what you can do is go back in here and go back to like say dot three seven, for example, and I can click update, click yes, it's going to download. And I can even click this box. So it automatically runs Scrapebox if I want. I can hide beta versions too if I just want to see release versions. But now that Scrapebox has run, I'm going to click this and I'm going to go ahead and run it again. And we will see that it has rolled us back to dot three seven. So that can be super helpful here. And again, if I want to go updates, now I can close out of this and um, I can come over here and I can go like beta five, which is what I want to do. And I'm going to have an auto run Scrapebox, click update. I've read and agree. Yes. Whenever you do a beta version, it makes you agree that you're updating to a beta version and that you realize that there could be an issue with that version. So now we have the latest version. If something else happens, let me show you one last thing. If you update to a new version and you literally can't load Scrapebox to click the check for up updates button anymore and you want to roll back to a previous version, you can go into your Scrapebox folder, which looks something like this, and you can find the file called sbupdater.exe. You would want to have obviously Scrapebox closed down and obviously if it won't load, it would be probably closed down. The SB updater, right? You just click it and it opens up. And now I can roll back to whatever version I want to. So that is the new Scrapebox updater. That's how it can help you. That's how you can get quicker fixes for things or new features to try them out and that sort of thing. This is an updater for core versions of Scrapebox, not necessarily for add-ons and plugins. Those again have their own updates, but that's the new Scrapebox updater. So jump in and use it, enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell. And then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.